those EBRs. And boom. Oh! I think we can easily say it feels like... Wow! I am going to do something what has never been done before in the history of World of Tanks. I am going to do that in this video. <laughs> I'm actually going... It may sound a bit clickbaity, but I am actually going to do that because we have never had this equipment unit in the game before. I am over here in the update 1.12's test server article uh, uh, talking about Battle Bass Season 4 and Season 4 Battle Bass introduces new bounty equipment unit to this game which is Bounty Aiming. Bounty Improved Aiming. The standard version of this is called Improved Aiming but now it is Bounty Aiming Equipment Unit. So let's go back into the game and I am, uh, for the first time ever, we are able to get Grilla 15's accuracy dispersion number right over here down to 0 0.22. Using the previous um, improved uh, aiming unit right over here, as you can see, 0 0.23, but now for the first time ever, we are able to get it down to 0 0.20. Okay, show equipment, uh, 0 0.22. So it is going to be as accurate as it can be. 0 0.22 right here in front of you. And I decided to boost this gun handling even more. Let's go crazy, guys. Let's go all out, you know. Let's uh, slap a little stabilization on it as well. Let's uh, improve that. Uh, 300, uh, sorry, 3 million credits. We are over here on the desk server, by the way. This is uh, how I'm able to do that. And let's see if it actually has any effect. Because you may think I'm crazy. You may call me crazy. But when I was um, like on the uh, live server, I'm kind of trying to mark uh, Gorilla 15 as well. But when I was playing Gorilla 15, which already has just amazing accuracy on paper, just amazing aiming time on the paper, right? I was playing with Gorilla 15 and honestly, honestly saying that I have never seen such a accurate troll gun before the amount of shots i fully aimed in shots i simply missed is just mind-blowing and when i tried to use the standard improved aiming minus seven percent to the aiming circle size i saw difference right away it should not make the difference but i bloody hell saw the difference just you know hit me in the face I saw the difference. <laughs> and today we're going to play with even more accurate. Uh, can we use any uh, directives over here? Can we use anything just to make the accuracy even more better? Or should we? Yeah, I believe we can actually. Snapshot, for example. Snapshot should make the accuracy, you know, the overall gun handling a bit better as well. Because let's not take the smooth ride. Let's take this one. Yes, let's do that. Bounty rotation. Bounty aiming minus 8% to the aiming circle size and first time ever 0 0.22 let's go I can't wait any longer I actually cannot because I want to play with it I want to see what kind of difference it has because as I said um, it is not my uh, like ultimate goal right now but uh, every now and then I uh, bring out uh, Gorilla 15 just to uh, play a couple battles uh, for the third uh, mark of excellence so let's see let's take a little sit sip of um, Mm. Ice cold beverage over here, and uh, what do we have? So, triple lighting, triple artillery action. You know, this map or this matchmaking, not the best for Gorilla because so many tanks can easily penetrate me. And I really do love this um, addition right over here, the Team HP. And by the way, I do not have it switched on. Uh, talk deck enemies you destroy. Yes, yes, yes. Display notification when counting damage. Uh, where is that, by the way? Where is the spotting indicator? EBR. And... Okay. Impossible. Impossible to predict that moment, right? Uh, battle reports. Oh, battle reports. Uh, display. Uh, battle reports the missions. Yes, uh, display team HP. HP number. Display HP difference. Display vehicle icon. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, just like that. HP numbers as well. Everything. I don't know why this is not activated by default. I honestly don't understand why it is not activated by default already. But look at that. From 420 meters away, my aiming circle is literally covering the entire EBR and uh, say goodbye to your sweet, sweet life. From that distance, Aiming circle completely covering the tank, such a small tank. Well, you know, it is not the smallest tank, but it is not the uh, biggest tank either. It is actually quite impressive. Uh, there is Rhino, 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 Rhino. If Rhino is uh, thinking about anything aggressive, if Rhino is thinking about doing anything aggressive, the other guy, I definitely can say something about that. EBR. Oh, no, 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 EBR, fail driving by our EBR. Okay, wow, that aiming time and gun handling is actually godlike, dude. That aiming time and gun handling, godlike. Alright. I think we have not missed any shots which we have actually aimed for, you know. I believe we have hit every single aimed shot. Here is uh, 183. Where is he going? Where is he going? Coming, coming, coming. Mm, close. Close. Actually, close. 277, Rhino. Is there V behind us? Might be. But I want to get some more damage um, out from those guys. Wow! Wow! And this is. Like, is it just me, or is Gorilla 15 really the most troll accurate gun? It is, I think it is second best most accurate uh, tank or gun overall in this game. It is the, it has the uh, overall best accuracy uh, available all the time, you know, only STRV is more accurate, if I'm not mistaken, in the siege mode. But STRV in the siege mode, you know, is kind of, uh, you know... You are not able to move super often. You are not able to move easily. Come on now. Come on. I'm I might get spotted. Oh, never mind. I might get spotted. Let's see what the Esther is doing. Is there not over there? Is Ford for two coming up or not? Or is 432 coming up from the middle? Oh, I like this score, I like this score. You can just, looking at one position, you can get super clean idea, super clear view, uh, which tanks are still alive, which tanks are spotted, which tanks are not spotted, and so on. I need a bit better vision. Okay, Effie is going to flank you, buddy. Effie is going to flank you. Say goodbye to your sweet, sweet life. And Esther is behind me. I need to move. So does the sister V. Okay. And just like that. Brian Metal is sniping at me. But now he's going to be dead as well. So first battle. Uh, not um, I can say not a failure. I can easily say first battle was not a failure. Uh, I would definitely like to play more, so let's uh, quickly take a look at the scoreboard and let's play some more. Yeah, quite a fast battle, top damage done as well, beautiful, let's go. Because you know, I want to play more and more with those type of vehicles, all those uh, super accurate uh, tanks are kind of addicting in my opinion, and it is uh, especially addicting if the gun is as big as in Gorilla 15, you know, the massive 750 alpha, alpha damage gun which should not miss any shots in this game and so far you know it basically we can say it has not missed too many shots oh my god is it turkey shooting like look at that look just look at that side oh my god jesus christ jesus christ okay 
Well, this is... Welcome to the test server, guys. Welcome to the test server, where we have this type of matchmaking with... I don't know how many EBRs. People are testing out the EBRs because, you know, it's new. It's new. New dank. Let's see. Mm, I think there's no reason to, for us to push up the hill, right? Let's just try to start... Uh, let's just uh, start hitting those all, all those EBRs. And boom. Oh! <laughs> now it has, like... This aiming, I don't know, is this aiming unit working, guys? Is this aiming unit working or is it not working? One thing we can easily say, it feels like it is! It feels like it is. All those low HP tanks. Oh, let's get that blind kill, come on. Mmm. Had to be close. That guy, I'm pretty sure that guy smelled the shot. That guy had to smell it. He had to smell it. Nope. Almost. Okay, we have EBRs going in. I'm going to be in the middle of the map now. I want to get to be a, bit, uh, a bit better angle. This is actually... I haven't played uh, for, for... Oh, shit. Oh my god, I'm so lucky I didn't get spotted. Uh, never mind, I speak too soon and I took out that guy. I got spotted by this guy, right? So... Oh, hey, Radio Man! Come back, please. Radio Man. And I killed another EBR. Like, the amount of EBR hits I have uh, I have been able to get in this battle is already... is already quite boggers worthy, in my opinion. But uh, for some odd reason, we're still losing this battle, I guess, because we're losing the hill completely. Seems like it. Hit after hit after hit after hit. I think I can actually stay over here. Although they have another EBR. I have to choose my position so bloody carefully. And when the shot matters the most, it is not going to be a hit. No, Murphy's Law or something like that. Six ninety. I like that roll. I like when the roll does thirty. You know. Feels like this battle is ours. Uh, our battle to carry. Come on! No way, dude! No way! How many... How many low rolls on a killing shots have we got... Um, have we seen? How many? Too many is the answer. Too many is the answer, ladies and gentlemen. Too many. Five tanks alive. EBR is there. At least, hopefully, EBR is keeping some of them away from us. No. Yep, I'm done. I am so done. I am so done. I got spotted by that guy. I, I got spotted by that Prochetto faster than I took my shot, so... I, I guess I got spotted because I started moving. Uh, yeah, uh, while I was standing still, uh, they didn't see me. But, you know, after I started moving, I lost my camo value. Uh, 6200 damage still. Like, hit, 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 and all those moving shots hitting. Krilla 15 like never seen before, guys. Actually. <laughs> or maybe just this server luck. I don't know. I don't know. Let's play one more. I can't stop here, guys. I can't stop with this battle, right? Well, guys, we went down, but we showed a lot of heart. 6.2k damage. Not bad. Uh, anyway, before we go into the next one, um, I would actually like to look at this style. I believe those new, new styles are actually... Quite, quite awesome. This one, um, I think, is the most boring one because it is basically like uh, a style we have already, just different colors, but this one looks super hot and this one actually as well. Wow. Okay, let's see. Let's play with this one. And, um, well, I do believe you already know where we are going to be, where we are going to sit and camp at. Of course, up over here on this little 
hill because we have everything we need to be up over here and to be up over here sneaky. Hopefully Effie is not going to be sitting next to me. And beautiful, that bush uh, was knocked over extremely nicely by that guy, honestly. Uh, yeah, this is good enough as any, good enough for position as any. No, don't scare them away, don't scare them away. Effie was spotted already, was he? Or was he not? Boom. Ricochet! Uh, who was the guy who dragged that guy? No, it wasn't me. It, it couldn't be me. So don't get your hopes up, guys. SD2. Yeah, that guy is uh, exactly getting blocked. Do I need to be on the other side? Rhino. <gasps> rhino, 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 Rhino. Abba! 676. 676. That big house is literally next to me. I'm so happy we don't have artillery because if this guy gets spotted, he's going to um, he's going to draw some attention to every single tank in this game. Literally. Okay, where did you go? I was going to snipe your commander edge next, actually. Uh, like that. That was a bad snipe. That was a bad snipe. Russian side armor. Beautiful. 756. This F is, uh, is actually going to be a problem if I want to run away as well, if I want to reposition a bit. Gorilla 15 back there. Oh yeah, please keep going. I think that was a miss, sadly. I, I do believe that was a miss. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why, but I feel so naked right here. I feel actually so naked up here. Okay, there is Krilla. There is Krilla. Four to four. Good hits, good hits. Oh, lower blade visible. Yep, two HP kill, guys. Two HP destruction. A light tank is coming. Minimap is speaking to me and saying, hey, 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 watch out for the light tank, who will be over here very, very soon. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I believe this is as good opportunity as any to simply move forward. There it is, light tank. So they have something else in the uh, base. Trying to flank us. Sixty DP, and I believe it is time. Uh, it is prime time to go up the hill, actually. To go up here. Wow! And even that snapshot is a hit right now. Even that snapshot is a hit. I'm going to take one AP round, and uh, my next shot is actually going to be HE because I can potentially see Gorilla Fifteen. EBR is coming. Yuda's right there. Ah, never mind. I'm going to be firing AP rounds. I am going to be firing AP rounds. Grilla might be up there somewhere. Actually. So this guy is going to back up in a moment. You have to. Come on, you have to back up. What the heck are you doing? Never mind. Well, he's not going to back up. 700. We got that guy. Rochetta up here. And Gorilla. Now I'm actually going to load in uh, HE. Because I can easily penetrate Gorilla 15 with HE and... Uh, like, I have a chance to penetrate... Uh, and I have a chance to penetrate uh, Rochetta as well. Yeah, 600. Okay, so this battle was, uh, hmm, like, kind of a medium-range sniping, wasn't it? This guy's going up the hill from here. Quick snapper. 
In this situation, that uh, type of quick snapper is better with HE because, you know, you don't have to aim, you don't uh, have to care about uh, missing, uh, hitting the tracks. And if you want to finish the episode with exactly 4000 damage done, this is what you have to do. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, together with the uh, warm-up battle you saw on the background um, in the intro. Oh, we had a blind shot. Who did we... Who did we hit blind... Oh, there was another Gorilla 15, so we actually did hit that blind shot. Oh, yes, we did hit that blind shot into the other Gorilla 15. So, yeah, sorry guys, we didn't get exactly 4,000 damage. Anyway, apply. Uh, yep. Super awesome, super awesome battle to finish off uh, the episode with. Uh, so, together with the warm-up battle I played on the background... Uh, this performance, 4,700, 4,000, uh, let's say, exactly, 900 actually, 904.75 <laughs> uh, combined damage in total in four battles with this loadout, Gorilla 15, like never seen before. This tank has never seen number 0 0.22 right over here in T the garage. Actually, like never seen before, I am kind of blown away about the accuracy. The only trolling this gun did in this episode was with couple rolls, you know, leaving tanks on 9 hit points or on 20 hit points. I think I left uh, so many tanks on a uh, very little amount of hit points because I low rolled quite heavily. That was the only trolling uh, this tank did. I want to play more, maybe I'm actually going to play more, but, uh, you know, I don't want to make this video, like, I don't know, 50 minute long episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, beautiful people, thumbs up button is for that. Hit the subscribe button, join the notification squad as well, because it makes you feel so hot. Trust me, ask from the subscribers, trust us, join the Death Nation. Anyway, I get you next time with something else. Soon there are going to be many, many big videos to come, and I get you next time. Stay awesome, stay sexy, take care, stay naked, and bye.